In round three, start with three chain stitches. Then work set of one double crochet, one double crochet increase for four times. Finally, join this round with a slip stitch. Let's start. Work three chain stitches first. Yarn hook, put the yarn through the loop on the hook. One chain stitch is done, work two more. Okay. Then work one double crochet. Yarn hook first. Insert hook into the first stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then yarn hook. Pull through the first two loops. Yarn hook again. Pull through the remaining two loops. That's one double crochet. Place a marker in the first stitch. Then work one double crochet increase, which means working two double crochets in the same stitch. One set is done. We work one double crochet and one double crochet increase as one set. Finish four sets in total. Keep working the rest of three sets. We work one double crochet and one double crochet increase as one set. Okay, four sets are done. Work one slip stitch in the first stitch. Remove the marker. Insert hook into this marker stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the second loop. Round three is done. In round four, start with three chain stitches. Then work set of one double crochet. One double crochet increase for six times. Finally, join this round with a slip stitch. Work three chain stitches first. Then work one double crochet.
Mark the first stitch. Work one double crochet increase, which means working two double crochets in the same stitch. One set is done. We work one double crochet and one double crochet increase as one set. Finish six sets in total. Keep working the rest of five sets. Stress again, work one double crochet and one double crochet increase as one set. If the yarn is not long enough, we can change to new yarn. Take out the corresponding colored yarn and wrap it around your fingers. Wrap the yarn around your fingers again. Then pinch the two yarn tails together like this. Put them behind the fabric and pinch them together. Keep crocheting the rest of sets. This part might be loose because of yarn change. Just pull the yarn tails here to adjust the tightness. Gently pull the yarn tails to adjust the tightness of the yarn. Be careful not to pull it too tight. Otherwise, the stitches will be out of shape. Adjust to moderate tightness, then tie a knot with two tails. Be careful not to tighten it too hard while tying the knot.
cut off this excess yarn tails. Please finish the rest of two sets by yourself. Six sets are finished. Work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Okay. Round four is done.